where a few Australian guys played for us in CPL, like Alex Ross and, and, and those guys. So what happened is that after the game, you'd see him just in his speedo. <laughs> and he'd take off all his clothes in his speedo and just take up his stuff and walk into the... <laughs> and everybody saying, everybody was like, what is, he, what is he doing? You know, in the Caribbean, you have your towel or you're fully wrapped around. You know, that guy just took off every single thing. <laughs> and I'm just saying, guys, chill, man. It's just it's just a cultural difference. You have to learn to come together as well. I refer to the great cricketer here and I'll say, this will do a little bit early. <laughs> This video is brought to you by Akko and DC. Uh, so good to have a couple of Delhi Capitals legends with us. We've got Rovman Powell, David Warner, Prithvi Shaw. I just want to say from the top, there's some, there's some power in this room. Mm. There's some destructive batting in this room. Uh, and we're pretty pumped to be talking to them. And I just want to, if you'll allow me, he goes something earnest off the top. In doing research on three of these guys, uh, I just want to like all of them and I'm telling you guys things you already know, but you guys love your family so much. And I love that, you know, Rovman talking about your mom, Davey with your family, of course, and Prithvi with your dad. Uh, just, it's really cool to see. Uh, and we'll interrogate that throughout this uh, interview, but otherwise <laughs> welcome boys. And can I just start by saying, you know, how good does it feel to just start the day with a shoot in your full Delhi kit um, <laughs> with retired grade cricketers that you've never met before, um, the day after a close defeat, in nowhere you'd rather be in the world, right? Yeah, look, on a serious note, it's part and parcel of the job, so we just got to get done, eh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start in the place where we all feel comfortable, club cricket. Let's kick off with you, Davey. You'll obviously remember us playing against each other in 2007 in a PGs game. Um, now, do you remember when the Gordon captain came into the dressing room during a rain break uh, before the game had started? Uh, he was naked and he walked into the dressing room asking for 10 cents to use the hot water. Uh, do, do, you, do you recall that? <laughs> no, I don't recall. I don't recall that. 2007, gee whiz, that's a, a long time ago. <laughs> what were you going to say? Was that me just coming coming straight out of a taxi, putting my wife on a plane? <laughs> It wasn't you. It wasn't you. It was, it was my captain doing that. Uh, and we and we actually won that game. So, uh, you know, uh, maybe it worked. Maybe it worked. Davey, what, what he goes is trying to do there is just confirm to everybody that he played against you and then by extension right. that he must have been a pretty good player himself. So, um, But you've not given it to him. I, what, I can't remember anything. <laughs> Rosman, what, what about you, man? Do you have the same uh, romantic relationship to club cricket? I mean... We talked to Quinton de Kock last week and he said he'd prefer not to be disturbed by his club. Um, so you can be honest. Uh, do, yeah. do I, I, I share the same sentiment as David. You know, back, uh, home, back home club cricket is pride and joy. You know, you play for West Indies, but at the end of the day, when you go back to club cricket, you know, sometimes the pressure is even more to score runs because they say that you're an international cricketer. So when you come back to club cricket, you must score runs. I'm sure this won't be the first or last time you've been asked this question, but the Harris Shield game under 16s in Mumbai, you hit 546. Was it a bit of a green seamer sort of nipped around a bit early on where you dropped on zero? Uh, what do you, did, did this yeah. even happen? What, what are your memories? I was dropped, uh, I think twice I was dropped. It was lucky. You were lucky. They yeah. played 30 yard circles of boundary. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> What? Absolutely wrong. Okay, there's a there's a ground called Azad Meta, which in that ground, twenty matches happens in one one time. Twenty. Twenty matches. Gee whiz. Yeah. So it's like then David is right. The boundary can't pass. Yeah. Yeah. Need to, yeah. So so like Centennial Park, you know how they have all those yeah. wicket, and then your boundary overlaps with that one, and exactly. then overlaps with that one. Yeah. No, I mean, I just, it just happened, man. I don't know. It just it was like Forrest Gump. I just kept batting and batting <laughs> and batting. <laughs> <laughs> but Prithvi, I mean, was it difficult um, navigating the nervous 490s? Yeah, it was. I think uh, there was a record of uh, Brian Lara, Lara, sir, 444 in, uh, in whatever domestic cricket yeah. or something. So I was on 443 and my dad shouted from there, <laughs> you need one run to break Brian Lara, sir's record. I'm like, okay, fine. And the next ball... <laughs> One of the guys dropped the catch. <laughs> and then 
Obviously, after that, uh, but all the both the catches were dropped after four hundred. After four hundred, okay. So it was a chanceless four hundred, yeah. 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 Do you remember what the next highest score was? Like twenty five or something extras. What was the next highest score? The next highest score was two fifty five. One of the guy. We did a partnership of. Uh, he he threw it away. Yeah. So what was the thing? The total. Uh, nine ninety nine, nine ninety eight. And you batted the whole four days. No, 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 no. <laughs> they batted. They they got all out at around like hundred and ten the first day at lunch. It made the we most started, of it. We started first. Toss to win. <laughs> <We started laughs> Next day, till the end, and one morning session. That's it. <laughs> that's, that's 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 cruelty at that level. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, have you guys in the same for so long? We were like dominating the school tournaments. So. Me and Sarfraz was also there. In that I'm game. sure. I'm sure in 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 Jamaica. If 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 that happen, the opposing team will call off the players for quarterback. <laughs> after after it, it start to get ridiculous, the coach would say, "Come, don't want any more of this. Just give um, them the points." Davey, you, you're new back to the franchise. I know you uh, started there nine years ago or so, but uh, like you're an experienced campaigner. You've had a lot of opening partners through the years in all formats. Uh, what do you look for in an opening partner? Uh, and how is Prithvi doing? I look for someone who I'm taller than. Um, <laughs> I've not had many of them. Um, I'm always looking up to people. So, so Prithvi, can I, I mean, just the same one back to you. Like, how do you feel Davies going as an opening partner? You know, uh, I mean, you've both batted with Shikha Darwan. Do you miss him in the trio? I mean, how does the, <laughs> how, how's the relationship going? Is, is Davey everything you hoped for and more? Yeah, I think I think it is similar to Shikhar. Like while batting as well, you know, Shikhar is quite chill and same as David. So, yeah, I think. Uh, but I think we need to make some more reels. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's what I'm what, that. what's missing to be honest. Rob, I want to ask this one to you. I mean, some of the highest engagement we've seen is just clips of Ricky Ponting speeches. We just love seeing Ponting just speak to the team. I want to know for you specifically, do, listening to Ricky speak before the game, does it make you want to run through a brick wall or does it make you want to check your phone and see if there's any notifications there? Every single time. <laughs> you know, just, just listening to the legends speak gives you so much motivation and confidence. You know, I am a captain back home and I'm going to take some of his speech to carry back home. You know, it's so empowering. You know, and just, just the words he used, you know, the time he used the words, just, just subtle little gestures. You know, it's very, very good. And it's, it's encouraging something. It's something that we as cricketers need in you know, that environment for Ricky to be talking to us, for him, for him to believe in us and employ in us. It's, it's just an amazing feeling. I know in Ricky Ponting's speeches and on YouTube, there's literally a category for his speeches on the Delhi channel um, with all the music <laughs> under, underneath it and everything. Yeah. It's like, remember the Titans. But he said one of the goals this year, you just mentioned family. Rovman, he said one of the goals was to live our lives like a family. Um, and we all love our families, but they get on our nerves. So who's the most annoying family member at Delhi? Khalil Ahmed. <laughs> <laughs> I had him at Sunrise, so I can just say that no matter what, I don't have to think about anything. I'll go Khalil Ahmed also. Davey, like we, we've regularly said on a show, like you, you are an all-time great of Australian cricket, all formats. Um, you're an all-time great of the IPL. Uh, less spoken about is that you're an all-time great of social media too, and yeah. you know I just want I just want to know like what is it that makes you stand out from the rest, and who or what is Pushpa? For me, it's about giving back to the fans because they don't get to see what we're like, um, you know, away from the field. So for me, I've always loved dancing, and I think specifically when I come to this country, the one thing they love doing here is dancing and having fun, and they're always smiling, right? They they go above and beyond. They do not. Um, they do not have the word no in their vocabulary. They'll do anything for you. So for us, you know, having supporters and fans, I think it's great to give back. And there's always a lot of requests that come in and then you, you try and pick the ones that you think you can do because the ones I was doing with my wife, like, okay, I do put time and effort in and I'm still absolutely horrendous. And she mm -hmm. makes me look stupid because she can dance. So for me, it's about picking the ones that I'm comfortable with but these guys, like, they do dialogues and it's very hard for me to lip sync, lip -sync the, um, the dialogue. It's, it's very hard. Um, but with the push by one, that took me ages to try and do. Um, but these guys are going to start teaching me a bit more now that I'm here on the ground. 
Have you got have you got a, a few guys in the team just being like, come on, Davey, get me in, get me in for a TikTok? Like is, is Axa Patel just trying to just trying to weasel his way into a couple of TikToks with Dave Warren? Just could be the social <laughs> capital. Maga Cody definitely is. Yash Dahl definitely wants to. <laughs> we will do one. We will do one soon. We're gonna. Uh, we're waiting for the right one. Yeah, the right. There's a couple of funny ones that there are. I want to do one with Khalil Ahmed. So there's a there's a funny one where one has to play the female, one has to play the male. And we haven't worked it out yet. He's gonna be a female. <laughs> <laughs> we just get like just just Rovman and Prithvi like an assessment of of. Davey on social media, like, because I see you guys looking at each other while he's talking. Are, yeah. are you happy with his output? You happy with the uh, approach? They've muted me. Yeah, I think, no. I think it's, 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 all, it's, 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 it's a lot of fun. Sometimes you're laying in bed, you're just watching man, his family dancing around. It's good fun, man. Good fun. It is. But in the Caribbean, in the Caribbean, that's not, that's not really a big thing for us, though, in a sense where you don't see any West Indian cricketers. Making making TikToks and those kind of stuff. They're all about parties. promotions, parties. Parties. That's have you guys been to the Caribbean before? No, no. I'm keen. No. I'm telling yeah. you, if you, want, if you want to open your eyes to a different world, <laughs> my God. If you can still stand up to two rum punches, I'll be very surprised. <laughs> it's incredible. Yeah, it's incredible. Like not just don't worry about the beaches and that. The people are amazing and Street parties, like you walk around a corner and you hear this music, and then there's just people dancing on the street having a massive party. That's awesome, absolutely awesome. What do you, what's your like for all three of you? What's your relationship to your cricket bat? Like, are any of you complete gear nuffies? You know, like best bat you've owned, or do any of your bats have personalities? Do you give your bats names? Not, not so names. So for me, the first, the first two games of the IPL, I, I didn't get much runs. You know, but. I didn't get much runs with the bat that I score so much runs with, you know. And I, I, I was in my room. I was in my room and I put the bat on the bed and I said, "You're gonna disappoint me in the IPL. What are you doing?" And then I said, "Okay, I'm playing the next game and we're gonna give him one more chance." <laughs> I get one ball against RCB. One ball. And when I went back to the room, I just put him on the bed and said, I'm going to give you a little break. <laughs> I'm going to put you in the naughty corner for a little bit. And then I look on the next four or five that I have, and I say, who is going to put up their hand and give me some runs? <laughs> and then I just, I just take up one and then flip the script. That's amazing, Rovman. And just at that point when you, you, know, you basically uh, fired your bat, and then you looked at the other four and you said, you know, who's going to put their hand up in your head? Like, did one of those bats put their hand up? Like, as in, could you see something like uh, that? Why did you, you always, pick the bat that you did? You always have the bats in, in order. You know, yes. the, one, the one that I put in in Nautica and I know within myself that that's my best bat. You know, but it's just not working in the idea. <laughs> maybe, when I, maybe when I go back, it start to pick again. So I find a bat for the idea. You know, like, David would play test cricket and quit the, David would have a bat different to that he play test cricket with and a bat different to that he play white ball cricket with. So maybe that bat is the international bat. I need to find a bat for, I need to find a bat for IPL. Uh, uh, Prithvi, do you, do you talk to your bats? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I, just, I just pick up and play with them. <laughs> don't talk with them. <laughs> I have to just... I have to look on the button and so say, you're going to feel me in the IPL, man. <laughs> but I, I know within myself that that is my best bat, though. Yeah, so after you spoke really strongly to it, you also would have said, it's okay, I'll be back later. I'm sorry if I yeah. got mad at you. Yeah. Yeah. Do so you have the Titanic music in the background as well? Nah. <laughs> yeah. well hold, holding the bat up like yeah. Kate Winslet. Over yeah, the my heart the will go on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll pick in a few months, man. I let Ricky pick my bat yesterday. That didn't work. Yeah. I don't, I never use the same bat twice. Never. <laughs> oh really? Uh, These cricketers nowadays have so much luxury. <laughs> you can you can imagine Davey telling me that he never used the same bat twice. <laughs> when I was when I'm growing up, I had one bat, and if the bat break, I just pray to father. <laughs> one. And now he don't use a but twice. I was like that as a kid. Like I had one bat that every so every time I score a hundred, that bat never gets used again. He's done his job. He's never scoring. He's never scoring any more runs for me. 
Where are he's done, the, he's the, done his I've job. Got, I've got no word of a lie. My wife had a crack at me. She goes, you've got so many bats at home. She goes, you don't need all these bats. And I said, no, they're the 100 bats. They stay there. That's it. Done. They're on ice. They're never to be used again, never be swung, never be picked up. They're on the little mantelpiece. That's it. I, I love to it. play with it again and again. I am, I am, <laughs> I am the total opposite. If I score 100 with a bat tomorrow, yeah, same, same. I use the bat for all here. <laughs> <laughs> Every chance I get, that is the bat I'm using. How many bats have you got just locking around the house? Because you've got, you got 24 test hundreds, but you've scored more hundreds than that. I've got about three cricket bags full. I've got probably about 80 to 90 bats at home. So, you know, like when you go back to play for your club and guys ask you for like, you know, some gloves or whatever, does anyone just ask you for one of your hundred bats? Uh, one guy, or one of my mates, they come over, or some of my mates come over to my house and they pick up the bats and go, oh, this is good. And I said, uh-uh, it's got no runs left. It's already scored a hundred. You can't touch that. <laughs> you know, everyone loves. I got it. So the bat that I scored 300 with, I promise you, that was a brand new bat I just took out. A brand new bat. And I've never picked it up um, to take it out again to have it here. I picked it up before I went to Pakistan, just picked it up. And I'm like, how did I use this thing? It was so bottom heavy and something that I just never use. And all my bats now are like a lot lighter than what that one was. But I just don't, I don't know. I just don't like using the same bat twice. I feel like it's done its job. Prithvi, um, hearing all of this from your teammates, are you starting to wonder whether you need a closer relationship with your bats and to think about it a little bit more? I think I'm fine with my bad stuff. You know, I, I can't I can't do these things what these people are doing right now. Maybe in a few years I will, but not right now. Maybe I'll I'll talk with my bad if I'm not scoring runs. But I won't change my bad every game. Not possible, man. Mm-hmm. Unless and until you have played 10, 12 years of international cricket, you will get those you know. And he, and and they have so much runs like David, you can tell the bat manufacturer, say, hey, send 10 bats at once. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. For me, it's for me, it's not that. If I, I get three you. bats, that three bats last me for the next three, four months. So I have to be very careful in what I do. Steve Smith's got a forest in his bag. That's how many bats he's got. He carries more bats than anyone. He he's like a golf fitting manufacturer you know they, <laughs> which shaft do you want he's got a millions of bats he would have 20 there come to a test match he's got just lays out 20 20 bats and we'll just pick it like this oh that one's good that one's good and then the other boys go to try and pick them up and he's like no 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 he goes that will be good <laughs> what do you mean he, he's he, but i'll tell you one thing though every tail ender needs a good bat so we make sure one of our bats goes to the tail enders that's nice <laughs> In the Caribbean, whenever you as a batsman, you want a good bat, you take it from a tail end. Really? Yeah. <laughs> in the Caribbean, <clears throat> it's best believe it. That good bat coming from a tail end. Because first thing as a batsman, you're going into his bag and you're asking him, what are you doing with such a good bat? <laughs> 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 what are you doing with a good bat? <laughs> and you just, you just take that bat, Take that bat and tell him to go and buy a bowling shoes. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing batting at number 10 and 11 with such a good bat? <laughs> that's, that's, oh. that's how it's done in the Caribbean. Any kind of bat that want a good bat, they go in the fast bowler's bag, say, this bat is too good to be using at number 11. <laughs> Is there any like kit thieving going around in the dressing rooms? I know you have different sponsors and stuff, but is, if anyone's got, you know, a nice pair of spikes or, you know, a new thigh pad or a new bat, obviously, do you just sort of have a look at that? Maybe, maybe they go into the nets. Do you have a look, go into the, go into that kit bag and just, just pick it think, up. Just, just feel it I out. Think, I think shoes and those kind of stuff are, are, are not really. Yeah, I'm more really thinking of the priority. issues. The priority, <laughs> the priority is the bats. You know, we're always checking each other bats and see who can, who can, who can give we, one? <laughs> we can get a bat from. So far, I've get one of Risha Pan's bat. You know, it's 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 very good so far. So the one thing you'll be very proud of is that the smell in our change room is amazing. Yeah, just because I'm very of proud food. of that. I'm proud. Oh. And before I'm I go, proud. Out, he has to roll on his little thing on my hand. That's yeah, our yeah, yeah. that's our pregame ritual. He'll roll his uh, cologne on my hand. I'll spray myself twice with a strong one, one with a light one. And then Rishabh's next to me, putting his Dubai scent on. And then <laughs> you've got Shadow doing the same thing. That room smells so good. It's like a... It's like a <laughs> the, the, the aroma... What are you talking about? 
Hey, don't worry, don't worry about bats and stuff. People are trying to pinch people's colognes. Uh, <laughs> but I mean, if if every single player is spraying cologne on themselves, yeah, that that's that's, that's that seems to me yeah. like it would be a very heavy odor. Yeah. In, no, in what the happened room, is but... every section of the room have a different odor. Yeah. So you have to decide what order you want. You want the Caribbean scent? <laughs> you want the Indian fragrance? <laughs> if you want the Dubai fragrance, you go in Russia Pan Corner. If you want a more modern um, Australian <laughs> scent, you go in the Legend Corner. So it's, it's, it's right around the room. All the guys take pride in their, 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 their aroma. And I've never seen a Rex owner can, so. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, yeah. What's the uh, main difference between grade yeah. cricket and the IPL? I think I've just found it. It's uh, yeah. Rexona cans versus cologne in the yeah. change rooms. Yeah. yeah. Well, can we? I mean, it sounds like you guys would be a great circuit. I'm, I'm circling with the Del- with the Delhi guys for sure. Yeah. But I, I mean, I want to ask you guys oh. about the showers. You know, showering after a game. I want to know what the what the longest you've spent in the shower is. Have you brought in some outside furniture into the shower to sit in the tubs afterwards? Like, have you spent an hour in the tubs? You know, maybe with a lager, we're refreshing beverage. What's what's the what's the longest you've spent in the showers? I don't want to admit this, but I've not showered once at the ground yet. Neither do I. It's 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 weird because normally we always shower, but for us, we got so much to do afterwards that the timings for the bus and everything, we just pack our bags and then we go, and we're seven minutes from the hotel, so there's no real time. I feel the guys will do a lot of ice bath, but then just get straight out. So it's. Yeah, here it's a bit, a bit different, but like in the Australian change room, it's who it's who's the last to put their clothes on. The yeah. boys shower for hours in there, hours. Sit in the, they they have a beer, they chill out, and yeah. But these boys, they're different. That, that that's that's where cultural difference <laughs> comes in because in the Caribbean, nobody really showers at the ground. Really, not, nobody showers at the ground. People just have a few drinks. They do them show and then they go on the road, they go to parties or whatever it is. Nobody really show us at the ground and then they do them. Everybody in their separate vehicles, they just quick change of clothes and they do them. The thing is for us, our point of view is that we're very comfortable, us Australians. Very comfortable. Sometimes too comfortable, especially in Australia 2020 team. But it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's funny, different cultures. Uh, so when I first went to England and I played a... Uh, you know, one of those tour games. And I go into the shower, I'm showering, got the shampoo, turn around, and the opposition is there showering right next to me as well. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? They're communal <laughs> showers. And I was like, yeah, boy, yeah. get out of here. This is not, oh, my teammates in here, not you guys. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the same thing for me in the sense where, where a few Australian guys played for us in CPA, like Alex Ross and, and, and those guys. So what, so what happened is that after the game, you would see him just in his speedo <laughs> and he'd take off all his clothes in his speedo and just take up his stuff and walk into the, <laughs> the tower. And everybody's saying, everybody like, what is, he, what is he doing? You know, in the Caribbean, you have your towel or you're fully wrapped around. You know, that guy just took off every single thing. <laughs> And I'm just saying, guys, chill, man. It's just, it's just a cultural difference. You have to learn to come together as well. Well, I suppose, I mean, you guys are wearing so much cologne before you go into the field. You probably don't need to shower. You, you guys are ready to go out. Yeah, you're ready to go. On. You're ready, ready to go. Let's get out of here. We're good it's, to go. It's not like we're using the cologne to mask the bad odor, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're not getting compliments off the fast bowler when he comes fast. You go, please, <laughs> It's CK1, is that CK1? Hugo, what, yeah, Hugo we'll Boss, what is that? I'll tell you where to get this cap from. Use my code. <laughs> Boys, thanks so much for your time. Uh, re- we're really, really grateful that you gave us the time and the entertainment that you did. We learned a lot about the Delhi Capitals. We learned a lot about bats and their personalities and, yeah. um, and Cologne. Uh, thank you so much for that. <laughs> Robin Powell, Dave Warner, Prithvi Shaw, three of the most exciting cricketers going around at the moment. Totally appreciative that you've come on the show. Everyone else is watching. You can subscribe if you like. If that's got nothing to do with these players, I'm just saying it while they're here. Uh, boys, have a, have a great day uh, and all the best for the rest of the tournament. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Thank boys. You. We're just doing our job. But it's in our contracts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.